there's a way to go on Amazon that whenever you purchase stuff, uh, part of your purchase goes to, the, to, to a charity. And North Shore Animal League is actually on there. Is that right? Yeah, the I Red didn't Crow. know that. Yeah, so now like I, I, bought a, um, I bought an amp and stuff uh -huh. on Amazon. So like part of the money went to North Shore Animal League. I'll have to get on it. I didn't know. Yeah, it's very easy to do. And so it's, it's, it's part of your account automatically. Uh, that's pretty great. That's like, you know, nice. By the way, I was also looking at something that says uh, some team was doing some of their practices. Let me look this up. Because we were talking about the drones, and Amazon has been trying to get that drone thing going. Yeah, I want that. And uh, some team had their practice photographed by drones. So it's coming. Yeah, well, for me, Amazon isn't fast enough. Mm -hmm. Like, the stuff comes in a day or two. I want it within an hour. Yeah, like that afternoon. You think of it, and yeah. that afternoon it's at your home. I'm the most impatient dude in the world. <laughs> I mean, I just got to have it. Like, before it. you had to go out and get it yeah. to have it that fast. And now it's not fast enough when it comes the next day. Right. It isn't. <laughs> the Amazon's right. It's not fast enough. I need it literally... I need to order, and within an hour, this, this little plane flies into my apartment and drops it off. <laughs> like, I just open a window, and the, the drone just comes in. Yes, the Washington Nationals are trying out new technology to improve their techniques during spring training. The Nats reportedly use drones to record their weekend practice workouts. The airborne drones have video cameras attached to them recording the practice. The team says the drone video is for in-house use only right now, but... If they can record their practice with drones, when will Amazon be getting us uh, delivery through the drones? Yeah, because like, I, I ordered some pens and calligraphy stuff. I still haven't gotten it. And it's like three days. Yeah, and you you're afraid yeah. that you'll already be past yeah, like your it, enthusiasm. Yeah, exactly. For it. These phases don't last that long. <laughs> You need the stuff right I've now. already bought like several thousand dollars worth of guitar equipment because <laughs> I, I, I picked up the guitar. Like now, and now I have all the equipment since I can't play. Well, it's still not ready, so we'll have to wait. But yeah, I, you know, and then I go out and pay way too much for stuff because I know on Amazon I gotta wait two days. I don't want to wait. I want it now. But you can get it overnight. No, 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 that seems ridiculous. Like a four dollar pen to pay like a fifty dollar charge. Twenty dollars to get yeah. over. <laughs> but even even I just can't. I Sometimes can't subscribe I to that. Sometimes I just get crazy and do. You do. I can't do that. I work too hard. Absolutely. Did you see that the X Factor was canceled? Well, yeah, I did see that. That was a surprise. Was it really? I mean, the ratings were bad. I I had no idea. I mean, I had no interest in it. But I thought it was doing okay. You know, I just thought it was very surprising. I was like, is Simon sorry he left American Idol? I'm not interested in the new judges on American Idol either, though. I haven't even tuned in. Me either. How's that doing? That's doing okay in the ratings. Hey, John Hine can give you an update on that. Johnny Boy. John Hine, boy, he loves TV. Man. He does. He's built like a guy who loves TV. <laughs> He's built like a TV. Yeah. <laughs> You can put rabbit ears on our hearts. John, what weight size are you? Those jeans look big. These are 38. 38? 38. Look, really? Yeah. How could that be? They're not <laughs> packing for a long time. They're stretched. Those are 38? Yeah. Robin, Did you it? say you're a 34? I'm a 34. I wear 30 or 40. Really? Yeah. Hmm, you're, not that, you're not that bad. Yeah, my, my hips are huge. That's why. No, oh, I know. Wow. But I know they're too big. No, I thought they were big jeans on you. What, uh, what what were the ratings on American Idol with their new cast? Not great. Not great? No. I mean, you're still top 20. Yeah. But they're not number one anymore. No, they won their ninth, though, don't they? Yeah. Well, now the Olympics screws everything up because right. the Olympics just dominates across the board. But it's still a top 20 show, American Idol. Yeah, but not what it was. Yeah, right. But it's yeah. still, I mean, still impressive. Yeah. And what about um, X Factor? What was God. their rating? But was it that what bad? Was it? Yeah. No, they were falling bad. out of the top 20. They they're, they just <laughs> lost that appeal that they originally had. And the problem, I think, was Simon coming in saying, this is going to be the only game in town, and it's anything but. but yeah. What do your bowel movements look like? Oh, my God. Not like yours. Jeez. Yeah, mine's are perfect. And Ron, I just heard Ronnie talking about it. Yeah, what, what is he, what did he come in here and tell us? His, like, the, I think he was doing a story with Shuli, like how his never end. They just, they're, they're <laughs> continuous. Oh, he just has to stop? <laughs> he's like a car 
Bell machine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like he, he said he has to flush because they're so long? Yeah. Why is he doing that with Shirley? I've been trying to get him in here. What, what is he? Uh, why can't we get him as a guest? Let me try. <laughs> but the other show I wanted to ask you if you paid any attention to is um, True Detective, the new HBO series. Well, yeah. Everyone's telling me to watch that. I'm going to start. It's it's really really good. Yeah, I heard it's great. Like but it. it's convoluted. I don't know if you're going to be all that excited. It's a lot to take in. The best is Banshee. Banshee, Banshee, Walking Dead, um, also... Walking Dead has been incredible. Incredible. I didn't see this week's yet, but uh, last week's was amazing. Yeah, and this week is uh, right up there. Ronnie, what are you talking about with your shit? That it's that long that you have to flush while you're shitting? What's going on with that? What's up with that? I mean, you don't eat that much. I know. What do you, tell me about your shit. Seriously, what's, you, yeah, what's going on? Why did you just tell Shirley? We heard there was a description. Uh, I don't know. He's doing some stupid story, and he asked me about my shit, and I said, when I f take a shit, I usually have to flush the toilet as I'm shitting. Otherwise, I'll stuff it up. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. What are you eating? Nothing. It's so, I mean, it's so long? Yeah, that yeah. You have to t flush while you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. Oh, my God. I can't believe what you're telling me. I don't I wonder know. if that's good or bad. Is that regular? Like all the time? Yeah, I crap once a day. Uh -huh. Usually, that's uh -huh. it. Then usually, it usually when I get home, you know, yeah. Yeah. and usually it, it's ready to come out. <laughs> and it's so long. <laughs> yeah. Wow. How long would you say it would be if you didn't flush? Um, a foot? Dude, it curls up like... Wow. You, you do the swirl. <laughs> Where it actually comes out of the water. Oh, my God. Wow. It's a big pile. Oh. Oh my God! Like a snake. <laughs> wow. It's weird. Yeah, it is weird. I guess. But I got I got into this routine now where I flush the toilet as it's going down. You don't claw things. So up. it goes straight, you know, like a snake. Ah. What do you have for breakfast? Uh, usually like um, like uh, yolk, Greek yogurt thing or egg whites or something like that, and then. Uh, what do you for lunch? It depends. Sometimes nothing, you know, and then I have a, a, you know, like, salad and chicken and rice for dinner. That's it. And you shit that much? Yeah. Wow. Where is it all coming from? Yeah. Maybe it's me. <laughs> I don't know. Big 36-foot bowel movement trailing behind Ronnie. Yeah. Good for you, Ron. Long. <laughs> Real long. Wow. We should measure it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bubba used to do that on his show. What? He used to measure, he used to have a contest with the guys. You win. Let's put him oh, up. I told him. I said, I, I win in a minute. That's right. You guys are pikers. How much money in that contest? I don't remember. It was a while ago. Hey, Bubba, if you're listening, I'm going to put Ronnie up against any of your guys. Who's your best guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give us your best guy. We'll go up against him. Come on. My boy can take the longest shit out of anyone. I'm prepared yeah, to put up money. Yeah, but do you have to wait until Ronnie's ready to go? He can't yeah. do this on yeah, demand. Yeah, we're going to be at the end of the day. Well, we'll have a judge. Just somebody's going in there with us. Yeah. Gary. <laughs> He's honest. Uh, sure, surely you're going. Surely you're going with yeah, one of these guys to keep it everything honest. And what, how do they measure? Uh, with, the, with the ruler. You're gonna have to shit on the floor. Because if you're on a bowl, we can't That's measure. So yeah, we we'll shit on a plate or something. <laughs> Why? Although a plate sounds like you can't even yeah, handle it. Yeah, you a plate. can't have a plate is too small. You know what you need? A like, cutting board. You yeah, a platter or a one long piece of cardboard. Yeah, you need a turkey. You need a platter. That turkey yeah. platter. You need a poo poo platter. <laughs> Great conversation. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Bubba, I'm calling you out. Give me your best guy. How much money are we putting on this, Robin? Well, I put a thousand. Thousand. I think he he used to win. Who, Bubba? I think his was like sixteen <laughs> inches or something. Wow! Can you beat that? I sometimes I think yeah. You could. I, sometimes I think I can. Right. Because uh, you, know, you choke <laughs> on us <laughs> in a clinch. The funny part of it is a lot of times when I'm flushing the ball, I think about Bubba in his contest. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we put up a thousand bucks. You better go. You better shit your brains out. <laughs> well, maybe it could be best out of three. Yeah, you know what it should be, Fred? Like, every duty should be measured for a week. Uh, exactly. Like so that way you have a control situation. There you go. Like How about, like, just one. in the Olympics, you exactly. know, like, you throw out one. <laughs> right, right. right. You take no, you, two. You, you throw out the high and the low. It's like the two-man bomb tour. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Do you think, you think that uh, we'll catch Bubba cheating in the sense that he takes like a Metamucil? Because you know him. He always yeah, has yeah, so yeah. yeah. some kind of deal. He has a concoction, yeah. yeah. He's always this got a deal. Is, this is chemical-free, right? This is you. I swear to God. We're going to have him tested. 
you know, you know how many times I stuffed up the toilet? Oh, gee. And a lot of times, the, the, the funny part is, like, yeah. you think it's going to go down, and then all of a sudden it doesn't. Oh, and how do you uh, stuff up the toilet? Like, how do you, no, how do you, get, it, how do you get it, like, to go down? No, what happens is when, I see, when I see it's not going to go down, you know, I got to run behind the toilet and shut the water off. <laughs> so it doesn't all so it doesn't overflow. So how do you get your duty down the bottom? So then, then I'll go get the plunger. Let me ask you about a plunger. Because Dude, I'm you get, confused you just about enough time, Just enough time to shut the water off sometimes. I'm confused about a plunger because you put it in the toilet and then it gets full of duty. And then what, it, like, it's still full of duty. And it's like, then people yeah. just put it like right back in that container thing. Dude. No, no, no. I always have like chemical what? disinfectant right next to it. So you I do? spray it all down. Yeah. I don't mind. My, my plunger is full of shit. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> put them back until Dude. they've been sterilized. No, how do you sterilize it? Like I said, with the bathroom cleaner, like Clorox or Lysol. Well, where do you do that? Right in the bathroom. It's right over the toilet. Yeah. So I get the spray and I spray it. Yeah, that guy, she'd make a great wife, I'm telling you. <laughs> Cleans the shit right off that thing. I'm going to marry you off this year. All right, Ron. All right. I got a, I got a winner here. Come on, let's have a contest. My money's on you. <laughs> Can you imagine Shirley has to move in with him for a week to yeah. measure? <laughs> Thank you very much. George Zimmerman was also in the news while we were away. Uh, the first thing, he's the guy who, of course, shot Trayvon Martin. Right. But was acquitted of uh, any crime in that case. All of a sudden, they were, there were reports that he wanted to go into the ring and fight someone. Yeah, that's that guy who's like been on our show. Like boxing. Yeah, you know that guy who sets up all those matches? That's yeah. him. We were going to have them on. We were going to have DMX and George Zimmerman on. But uh, then it got canceled. Well, it's not DMX who wanted to fight him. It was another rapper. I thought it was DMX. No, but what is the guy's name? DMX. It's not coming to me right now. Um, Darn it. DMX. It's not DMX. <laughs> it was DMX. No, it wasn't. Robin, it was. I know. I know. I was involved in this because the guy was coming on the show with DMX and well, George Zimmerman. I've seen many, many reports about this, and it was not DMX. Maybe it was uh, Marshall Mathers. <laughs> the game's name was the, the game's name was floated for a bit, but 